Alright, so um, in order to produce the elevation view for your um, roof plan, um, the principle, principle remains the same as how you produce an elevation. So basically what you're doing is you're drawing or you're projecting lines down from everywhere there is an edge along um, the roof. And I'm going to start off by first drawing an horizontal line and I'm going to turn on ortho to assist me with this. Alright? I have then be projecting lines down from everywhere there is an edge on my roof plan here. Now here I have an edge so I project a line down there. I also have one at this end here so I project a line down. I'm going to project one down from here because there is an edge there. I'm going to do the same here as well because there is a corner there or an edge. So everywhere there is a corner. I'm going to do the same thing here and project a line down. Alright. Assuming that um, let me extend this down. Alright. Now once I have that down in place, I'm going to draw my fascia board. Now your fascia board is always going to have a width of or a height of um, 150 millimeters unless specified otherwise. So I'm going to offset down 150 millimeters that's this one here down 150 millimeters all right now once i have that in place i can clean up my drawing by trimming or filleting what needs to be trimmed or filleted so this and this and this and this here see what's going on and then i can just simply trim away all the excess all right now depending on your roof um, and the pitch of your roof, meaning the hang at which your roof slopes, or how wide your house is in relation to how tall the roof is, um, that will determine what the slope or the slant or the angle of your roof is. Now, you could do this um, by employing the method of utilizing um, the ratio of um, roofs, basically, slopes. Now, say, for example, if I say 1 to 12 or 1 in 12, it means that for every 12 inches or um, in width, the roof height goes up by um, one inch. All right. Now, another method is that you'll simply draw your roof slope at a specific angle. Now, this could range between anywhere between 15 and 30 um, degrees. Now, we'll assign different parts or different angles to different section of the roof. So, for example, this portion here which we're going to assume is the tallest part of our room or the highest part or the part with the greatest slope we're going to use an angle of 30 for that alright so what we do we simply draw an angle at an at 30 degree at this end here going this direction now you could use um, polar tracking to guide you with this one here or you could manually enter the angle alright in this case I am going to be using um, polar tracking. So for example, I have a 30 degree line there. Now it should not be there, so I'm gonna move it up to the top of my fascia board. And I simply uh, maybe mirror it to the other side, like that. Yes. Now anywhere you see this line touch, this line here that is coming down from the apex or the peak of the roof, that is where my line should stop. So I'll now erase all the excess on this side here. I then repeat the process for the next side. All right. Now we know that the roof is going to be sloping this side based on what we're seeing here. All right. Now where will it be sloping? It will be sloping to somewhere inside of this part here. All right. Now what we can do because this is a symmetrical object, we can simply mirror this line to our left. All right. And then we'll trim away anything that goes beyond this point here. So we'll trim that away. Now we know that this part here is a flat portion of the roof. So here is like a little ridge, all right, that will connect to this um, um, uh, hip rafter here. So what we simply do, we draw a horizontal line from there going across. And from there, we can simply connect a line from here down to where the roof stops all right so this is basically what this portion of the roof will look like all right 
from um, the front view. Now to do the other sides, so all you're simply doing is that similar to what you did with your elevation, you'll make copies of it. So I'm going to make three more copies of this here. Three more copies. One, two, and the last one, three. All right. Now, we have just done this side here. So what we're going to do now, I want to do this portion here. So what am I going to do? I'm going to rotate this roof plan here. Is that 90 or 180 degree? So that this portion here is facing downwards now. I'll do the same thing for this end here. So I'm going to rotate it the other way. Or go, enter. And I rotate it so that the back end is pointing down. Let me shift this to my right. Alright. Now this one here, we need to see up here now. So what do we do? We're going to ensure that we rotate this object so that it is actually pointing down like that. Alright. Now once that is in place, we can now um, be projecting our lines. And I'm going to use this one here as a guide for me. So that all my um, portions are at the same level. So I'm going to copy this up now to here. Alright. And I'll simply project lines down from everywhere there is an edge on my roof. Everywhere there is an edge. Alright. So there. This end. Alright. This end. Same thing here, so everywhere there is a corner or an edge, that's where we're projecting a line down. And this is help, will help us to guide us to identify where a particular section of the roof will fall. Alright, now once that is in place, we can now do our drawing now. Remember the angle, the angle is 30 degrees. Alright, so what I'll simply do, you can redraw this angle here, but since I have this one over here, I'll simply copy it to my um, right without any assets. Now, remember, we're projecting lines down from everywhere there is an edge. So remember, everywhere there is an edge, there is an edge right here. Alright, right there, there is an edge right here. Alright, there is an edge where? Right here. Remember, this is the highest part of the roof. Alright. So now that the line is touching this line here, we know that it starts to move. Uh, it will be flat at this point basically. So from here, and that is in the same um, line. So from here to here, here to here is flat. The basically the ridge board. So what do we do? We draw a horizontal line from that location to that line. I think it's the second one over here. Alright, now from there it starts to slope down um, to the other side. So what we can do, because this is a symmetrical object, we can simply mirror this to the other side. And then that will be that portion. Alright, now that those are out of the way, let me clean up my drawing a bit and get rid of those extra lines. So now we can focus on the shorter port portions of the roof, such as this section here and this section here. Now. The angle for that is going to still be um, the 30 um, degree. Alright, so what do we do? Grab onto this and we're going to mirror it to the other side because this is in the middle of the um, roof. So we go here, right in the middle there, click, move our cursor down, and then we have that portion out of the way. Once that is out of the way, we can now fill it or trim that portion. Oh, I accidentally got rid of the wrong thing. So let me just trim away um, here. We'll repeat the process for this section here. So basically drawing lines at angles. So for example here, I have this one here. I can simply copy this to this point right here. Anywhere to touch that middle line, we can simply um, trim away the excess. And then we, oops, and then we mirror to the other side. Or you could have mirrored first and then um, trim afterwards. It's up to you. Now, once that is out of the way, 
this portion of the roof or this roof plan here is completed all right so this roof plan here is completed so now we can clean up our drawing all right so i'm going to get rid of all of these extra lines here all right um i need a line here for here and a line at the other end over here so once you have those out of the way you can clean up your drawing a bit more get rid of that and you can turn your attention to this side now all right now the principle remains the same everywhere there is a corner or an edge line down line down line down everywhere there is a corner or an edge line down now we know that the angle of the roof is 30 so what do we do we can simply copy this one here that we already drew and we're going to place it where it needs to be right here once that is it in place we draw a line from this to here because this portion of the roof is flat all right but it starts to slope on the other side at an angle of 30 degrees so we mirror to the other side select no and then this portion here is um the roof plan for roof elevation now you might be wondering why didn't i draw over here this is because if i'm looking from the back of the house all i'll see is this here because this is blocking the view of here now because i was in front over here i would be able to see this these lower portion of the roof and everything that is behind it but in this case it is being blocked by this portion of the roof all right so now i'm just going to close off this portion of the roof by um, finishing the fascia portion and i'll trim out any excess on my drawing oops i accidentally so T R enter let's see yeah now it's good now the principle remains the same for this one over here principle remains the same let me just have a line there select that e x enter send that over all right same principle project lines down from everywhere there is a corner everywhere there is a corner everywhere there is an edge now we can start things off with the largest portion remember the angle of the roof we're working with 30 slope of the roof 30 so we're just going to copy this one that we already have over there or you can just simply draw the line at an angle of 30 degree now remember this is the apex so we mirror to the other side because roofs are tend, roof tend to be symmetrical now once that is out of the way that portion is done and dusted all right we can clean up our drawing getting rid of this top line here this top line we can tr and enter get rid of this middle portion let me undo to see what i did wrong there tr enter get rid of that now inside of this portion here we now need to draw the remainder of the roof now we know that the angle of the roof is still going to be what dirty all right now we need to draw lines from everywhere there is an edge so for example let me clean up my drawing a bit more and trim away here and here all right now once you have done so we're projecting lines from everywhere there is a corner or an edge so for example we know that this short portion of the roof will stop here the slow portion will stop here all right the flat portion is in between here so what do we do now we draw our line at the angle of 30 degree at this location and anywhere it intersects this line here that represents this edge we're going to trim away the excess now once we have trimmed away the excess we're simply going to be drawing a line from that portion to all the way to the other end where it indicates that that's where that portion of the roof stops all right so now once that all that is in place we can now trim what needs to be trimmed clean up our drawing so we're cleaning up our drawing so let's clean up our drawing all right and let's get rid of that now this now is the roof plan on this side here all right so this is what this will look like so we have all three um roof plan roof elevations rather 
Alright, now all we'll do from here is simply paste these on top of our house. Alright, so this is basically how you produce the sectional or front elevation of a, a, a roof plan. Alright. So I hope this video was helpful in terms of like helping you to understand how to generate um, front elevations for a roof um, from a roof plan. All right. Now, if you like enjoy this video, if you're looking forward to seeing more videos from me, please subscribe. You may share with a friend. And if you need any special assistance, you can always send me an email. Um, email is on the channel. All right. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.